back to another review and today I'm going to show you a new product this is an expansion uh, power hub so basically it has a built-in battery here you can see here on the back it's a PCB and you use it with a Raspberry Pi version 2 or 3 and basically it provides power independent power supply through the battery and also provides you more uh, USB interfaces all in one uh, board so I'll show you how to use it so first thing you need a Pi board this is the Raspberry Pi version 3 I'm just using the holes here and mounting it here right there as you can see this is the arrangement it comes with two cables, two USB one is for the data and the second is for the power supply so first thing you need to do is to connect the power for the power you use one of the ports of the card here of the board here and bridge it to the power of the Pi like this so you have kind of a bridge here second step is to connect the data cable exactly the same cable but it's for the data so you can use the USB interfaces here so you need to bridge the data and sacrifice one of the ports of the Pi like this like this and this is the arrangement this is for the data so you can use the USB ports and this is for the power basically you gain, ab you gain about 8 USB ports 1, 2, 3, 4 5, 6, 7 and 8 so it's an 8 you can see here pretty nice and what you need to do is next step is to charge the battery here through the charging port here in the power hub this is the power hub and above it the Pi okay so you need to charge it a few hours with the Pi uh, power supply unit and you have also your switch when you want to use the battery to charge to provide power for the Pi you need to switch it on if you don't want to use it on and off uh, mode it's, uh, if you provide power it charges the battery until it's full you have two LED lights here so you can get an indication when the battery is full or not so you need to charge the battery and the battery lasts about 3 hours depending on the type of usage light usage it's about 3 hours 2 and a, two and a half and that's it in the second part of the video I'll show you exactly how it works so I'll be right back and thanks for watching, bye and this time I'm going to show you exactly how the power hub a USB hub works so I'll show you how it uh, basically provides power to the Pi without any external power supply unit whatsoever it uses the battery here so first thing just I'm just connecting the HDMI interface second step I'm switching on the battery you have a switch here switching it on and right now the battery in the power hub is providing power for the Pi so the device should work and we'll see
So I'm switching to the monitor. To the VGA mode because I'm using a monitor. And you can see system loads. I'm not using any power supply unit, all from the battery. Here you can see nothing. Basically, if I want to use the standard power adapter from the Pi, I'm using this port in the power USB hub. But right now, I'm using the battery. If I'm not using the battery, I need to switch the power off for this board and just connect it to standard power adapter for external power so you can see I'm running Ubuntu right now independent system and I'll also shut down the unit to show you again so I'm switching, switching off the power from the battery system is off right now nothing again system boots so it's an independent power source like I said it lasts about three hours of usage you can use the Pi without any power adapter whatsoever so I hope you enjoy my quick uh, overview of this product. It's very cool, recommended. Also, you have an option to buy this expansion board. Basically, provides you an option to power the Pi board. You can use it in a combination with the Power Hub. It connects to here to the GPIO interface, and instead of bridging. To the Pi, you need to bridge it to this board. So it's a power switch. You also have a physical button because the Raspberry Pi doesn't have any physical power button. So it gives you this option. And also you have an option for IR remote control unit. So you can basically turn off and on the unit, the Pi unit, with this. So very cool and I'll show you if it works so right now I'm not connected to the power source of the board so I'll switch it off and instead of using the OTG power here on the Pi I'm using the power feed for this board so basically this power uh, switch uh, board controls the Pi of course, sorry, controls the power hub yes and controls the Pi through the GPIO interface so I can switch on and off the unit let's see if it works or not so I need to con connect it well so right now I'm turning the unit on and I'll try using the remote control right now Ubuntu is loading So if I, I want to turn off Ubuntu, I can use the remote control unit here. So let's give it a try. And right now the system is shutting down, you can see here. So I'm just using a remote control. So this is an option if you want to buy this uh, power 
on-off switch expansion board. It also has a physical button here, so you don't need to use only the remote control in it. So it's kind of a backup. So you have a power switch also on this board. So you have three boards. One is the, for the power switch also, electronic switch board option, Raspberry Pi. And this is the power up unit with the uh, internal battery. So you have an arrangement for three boards. So it's pretty cool and very nice if you want to use uh, the Raspberry Pi for media center and you need a remote control unit. For example, for uh, turning off the unit after using Kodi and it's very practical. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed my quick overview of this device. Thank you and bye.